Mattis from CGC. We all know them. They're the gold standard in comics. CGC grades comic books, collectibles, magazines. Uh, we grade some lobby cards, some concert posters. We've been in the business for 17 years now, uh, almost 18 soon. And we're the oldest and most reputable grading service in the comic industry. So we create comic books, so you can bring your book over to our booth here at New York Comic Con, or you can mail it in if you have a membership. Uh, you send the comic book in, the graders will give the comic a grade based off of its condition, and then it gets encapsulated in our archival plastic, um, which is safe for the book. Uh, it gets a label with all the information on it, obviously the grade, and Hopefully you like the grade that you get when you get your book back. CGC actually has about eight different labels. We have a blue label, which is a universal label, meaning the book, there's nothing uh, in particular that's wrong with it. The universal label is the most standard label. Uh, we have a green label. A green label is a qualified label. We have a signature on a book and it's not witnessed, or if there's stickers or inserts on the inside of the book that are missing, you can get a green qualified label. A purple label is a restored label. If there's any restoration on the book, color, touch, uh, anything like that, you'll get a restored label and the label will indicate what the restoration is. Uh, and we have our coveted yellow label, which means that it's been signed and witnessed, so it's been authenticated, the signature on the book. Uh, we also have some cool Walking Dead labels at the moment, courtesy of uh, a deal we have with Skybound. Really cool if you have any Walking Dead books. I'm the primary grader at CGC. We have, uh, it's myself, Matt Nelson, uh, Sean Caffrey, we're the primary graders. Yeah. First thing I always tell people is to check to make sure the staples are tight, uh, check and make sure there's no uh, spine stress lines or there's not a lot of spine stress lines, especially that break color. Uh, make sure your corners are sharp. Uh, you know, that's really, that's really the big thing. You're going to look for tears, you're going to look for creases. You know, if it's absent of all of those defects, you have a pretty high grade book. We use jeweler's loops, uh, and that's mostly to uh, confirm restoration, color touch, pieces added, that, that sort of thing. Uh, otherwise, it's just really good lighting. Uh, if you're wondering why it got a 6, 9, 6, or a 9, 8, or, or a 9, 4, you should check, you know, the amount of stress lines on the spine. You might want to see if there's anything going on in the interior. Maybe uh, there's a little bit of rust at the center fold. You know, it's uh, it's a lot of things. It's the whole book you got to look at. What makes a 9.8 book? Uh, well, you're able to have a couple of production defects, manufacturing defects, uh, one or two handling defects, and nothing else. The spine needs to be tight not many stress lines. Each corner should be sharp, uh, no creases, no tears, uh, that, that sort of thing. I mean, it's, you can find them, but not just off the shelf. They have to be a little bit better than off the shelf. Well, we do offer a pressing service through our sister company, CCS. And uh, when you look at trying to get something pressed, you wanna make sure that the crease or the bend doesn't break color. Uh, and of course, if there's tears or pieces out or something like that, pressing is not going to be able to help it. So in that case, you know, you shouldn't bother to get it pressed. It's going to be whatever grade it is. Uh, but if you have a 9.6 that you think, you know, if you get rid of this bend or this uh, indent this, that doesn't break color, yeah, you should press it and you'll get your, uh, you'll get your 9.8 hopefully. We've graded about uh, 4.5 million comics now, roughly, you know, give or take. And I think, uh, I don't think we've hit 10,000 10 10-0s yet. So it's a very, very small percentage of the books get, get gem mint 10.0s. Uh, and the difference between a 10-0 and a 9-9 would be a 10-0 has absolutely no manufacturing defects, no handling defects, no storage defects. A 9.9 could have one minor manufacturing defect. Everything else uh, has to be perfect. We do grade quite a few comics, but if the cover art or anything on the book is extremely explicit, we won't encapsulate it. Also, there are some comics that are slightly too big to fit into our holder. Um, 
the the one that Neil Adams did. Treasury Comics. Yeah, Treasury Comics. We can't encapsulate those yet. Uh, any chance they're going to happen anytime soon? I would love to see some encapsulated Treasury Comics. I don't have a time frame on it, but I would say that it's probably in our future. And I'm Sam Peterson. I run the Signature Series program here at CGC. The main thing, if it's your first time, always come to the booth first before you get anything signed. If you go and get something signed and come back, even if you just got it signed right across the aisle, if we weren't there, we're not going to be able to authenticate it. That's nothing against the client, but again, that is because we want all the buyers to know it's 100% real. There's always potential that somebody could get a book signed, uh, switch it with maybe a higher grade copy, and then have us go back and ask the artist to verify that they just signed it reason we can't do that is because there's too much potential for somebody to do the wrong thing. We like to think most of our clients do the right thing, but we need to guard the long-term consumer um, against such problems. At conventions, we'll take in signings directly sometimes. Artists or writers will reach out to us. We'll take in the books and we'll go and get them signed. We try to announce that before the show so everybody knows what to expect. Now, certain uh, artists and writers also um, asks that things go exclusively through a third party that um, has been approved as a dealer with us. They witness everything and bring it to us. Um, and then there are other cases where we can't be at every convention or every store signing or anything like that. So those same approved dealers that are um, have gone through a process and been approved to have a witness with them, you can go and send them your books, they can take the books, go get them signed, and then they turn them into us. We can always crack out a book to add signatures. We have people do it all the time. The one thing to keep in mind, you are risking uh, that the grade could potentially go down at that point because it's no longer in the case, so anything could happen to it during that time. You're just walking across the show floor, you bump somebody, uh, your thumb goes down a little, now there's a spine stress. It's not a guarantee, and a lot of people press their books afterwards. I know some people have cracked out books five, six times and still come back as a nine game. So it really depends on how the book is handled afterwards. And we do have people crack out even more than five or six times. There are people who have those uh, amazing Spider-Man 700 Skyline variants that that's a project book that they work, work on for years and years till they get 40, 60, 70 signatures on there. And I even had a guy crack out a uh, Batman 1, the new 52 Snyder and Kulo, it was a 9-9. Nine, nine. He had it cracked out and got it signed by uh, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo, and it came back in 99. I noticed that you introduced the drop box system. Can you tell us more about that for people who want to save time? Yes, we actually, it's an express drop off line. Uh, we have a new online form that was released in December of 2016, and we've recently made some renovations to the online form that allows you to select the show that you're attending and drop off books at that show. When you use the online form, you can put multiple tiers together. You can put multiple services together. So you can put books that you want to get graded and books that you want to get pressed and graded all in the same invoice. Not only does it save the customer time when filling out the form, but it actually saves us time internally because all of that data that the customer puts into the system is automatically brought into our internal system. So it cuts our time when it comes to receiving and verifying the books in half. Uh, in turn, we try to pass that on to our customer with lower handling fees for the online form, getting your books processed faster, hence the express drop-off. You have a competitor, and the competitor verifies signatures. Uh, I did some research. A qualified CGC book, let's say it was uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300, signed by Todd McFarlane, but with you guys, it's qualified. Right. A qualified book from CGC will sell better than a verified signature. You have any opinion or thoughts on that? Um, you know, I never want to say anything against the competition, but I think it just uh, speaks to the quality of our product and what we do here and what we've established. I say CGC's been in the business for 17 years. We were the first in the business, and we've created 4.7 million comic books. And if that doesn't give you some kind of confidence, I'm not really sure what will. Come by and see us at the booth. If we're going to be at a convention you're going to be at and you're unfamiliar with grading or don't know how it works, you can always call the office or send us an email, but I find that one-on-one -on -one interaction really helps to clarify things, help people understand and get a good idea of what's going on. 
So if you see us at your local con, you can go to cgccomics.com and go to our events page. If you see we're going to be there, just come by. We'd be happy to tell you everything about the program and help you get your book signed for Signature Series. You should come back in an hour or two and just see the line that will be wrapped around our booth today. But it's not a bad problem to have, and we always try to get to everybody as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, and we do thank everybody in advance for their patience. If they do have to wait in line, we're going as quick as we can. Um, we want to give each customer that does come up to the booth a good chance to get all of their questions answered, all of their books submitted. We don't want to rush that.